What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bobby and today we're going to be talking about two new features that recently got added to this guy, which is the Generation 3 Aura Ring. So for those of you who aren't aware, at the end of last year, the company Aura announced their brand new Generation 3 version of their Aura Ring that wasn't really much of a physical design upgrade in any sort of way, but it was more so they added some new sensors and some new features. And not all of those features were actually publicly available when the ring first came out, but they were promised to be trickled out through software updates with the new hardware over the course of the next couple months. Now, two of those new features, which are arguably two of the most anticipated new features are now available for the Aura Ring. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So if you are interested in seeing my full review of the Aura Ring Generation 3, I'll have that link down in the description below. But in this video specifically, we're gonna be talking about the heart rate tracking um, through workouts. And then the other piece is gonna be the blood oxygen saturation sensing uh, while you're sleeping. So those are the two new features and we're gonna talk about those today. So to kick things off, let's talk about the blood oxygen saturation sensor. At the time of recording this video, Aura is trickling out this functionality to all generation three users. If you're not sure if it's been incorporated into yours yet, or if you've updated to the latest software or whatever it may be, the easiest way to check is on the home screen in the top left where you see those three little lines. Um, you're gonna go ahead and click on that. Scroll down to where it says either blood oxygen sensing or breathing regularity. I believe it's like one of those two. Um, but if you go ahead and click on that, there should be a little toggle that says blood oxygen sensing or something along those lines. And as long as you have that checked on, you should be good to go and it should read your blood oxygen saturation throughout your night's sleep. And honestly, that's pretty much it. You basically just have that turned on and then when you're sleeping, it'll measure your breathing regularity and your blood oxygen saturation levels. And the next morning when you go to check your aura stats to see how you slept, under the sleep tab, there's like a new addition to it where it basically tells you what your blood oxygen saturation was through the night's sleep. Now the Apple Watch will also track the blood oxygen saturation and being that I wear an Apple Watch the entire day and then the Aura Ring the entire day and night, but the Aura Ring only tracks it at night, I haven't had them like side by side compared, but I've noticed that it's pretty similar as far as like a, a reading goes to where I'm at. Um, and it's kind of nice to have something that fills in the gap that the Apple Watch doesn't measure being I don't wear my Apple Watch while I sleep because I feel like it's not the best sleep tracker. And then on top of that, I don't really like the way it feels on my hand. This is like much less intrusive, like through my night's sleep. Now to the next one, heart rate tracking. So at the time of filming this video, there are currently five different types of workouts that you can track your heart rate with. Those would be outdoor running, indoor running, outdoor cycling, indoor cycling, and walking. Now to actually start tracking a workout, you actually have to open up your phone, go into the Aura app, and then in the bottom right hand corner in the little plus button, probably the easiest way, you hit that little thing and then it'll pop up and it'll say record HR. Then it'll have you select which type of workout that you're doing. It'll start to record the workout. Then when you're done, you have to open it back up and then end the recording session. It'll sync up with your aura ring and then boom, you get your nice little data splash screen. Now, at the time of making this, there's no auto detection or auto workout tracking, kind of similar to like when you are wearing an Apple Watch and you start running, maybe a couple minutes in, it'll be like, hey, do you want to record this as a workout? That kind of thing. Obviously, because there's no screen on the Aura Ring, there's not really an option to do that. It would be kind of nice if they had some sort of feature where it could start auto tracking a workout. And then when you open up the app the next time, it'll ask you like, hey, were you actually working out here? And you can confirm or deny or that type of thing. I'm not sure why exactly they don't do that. Maybe it's because of like the heart rate tracking consumes a lot more battery life or I don't know. There's probably a reason for it, but I find the process of having to open up the app and go through the menus and start the recording and wait for it to connect and like that kind of thing. 
I find it a little cumbersome, to be honest. And like, whereas on the Apple Watch, it, on my complication, I literally just tap the little workout button, hit my most used one, which is like an outdoor run or like a weightlifting workout or whatever it may be. And then I'm just off to the races. It's not the most, it's not the easiest to use. It would, another cool option that I would like to see or do is maybe potentially adding some sort of like widget to start recording a workout that now with the new iOS, you can put widgets on your actual lock screen. So it would be much quicker to just kind of hit that and then go off to the races or potentially even like a widget on the home screen would be a couple clicks less. I know it's kind of nitpicking because it doesn't take that much effort to just open up an app and hit record workout. But just for my honest use case, I've been using this feature for, you know, like a month, two months now, something like that pretty regularly. There's been plenty of times where I just didn't record it because I wanted to go on a quick run and it was just way quicker to do it with my watch than it was to do it with this. So with that being said, it works well. It definitely works well when I would run both of these at the same time. I would find that the data is really, really similar as far as like distance goes, heart rate goes, um, you know, pace, all these different little metrics that it'll actually let you judge because of the new iOS updates to the Apple Watch, or sorry, Watch OS updates, specifically to the running workout, you do get more data now on an Apple Watch, I would say, um, like in regards to like what heart rate zone you're in and things of that, of that nature. You're not gonna get that with the Aura Ring. But I find that the Aura Ring's data it presents is all super relevant data. There's a lot of times where you like are looking into the insights from some sort of fitness tracker, even with the Aura Ring, in my opinion, when it comes to like sleep or like other metrics that it tracks, sometimes to like a layman like me or someone who doesn't fully understand all these different nuanced metrics, it's a little hard to kind of grasp what you're looking at and I feel like the Aura Rings workout tracking gives you a nice little snapshot of what it is you did and all the metrics are easy to digest and they're displayed in a very pleasant way. You get the little map, you get the pace, you get um, how far you ran. There's just like some good data. You get like the intensity levels. There's good data and it, you know, for people who like to run or cycle or walk, I think it's a really good option especially if like your main purpose that you're looking to pick one of these up for is sleep tracking i wouldn't say that this is like the best dedicated actual fitness tracker to be honest i would still probably go with like the apple watch as far as like if you're in the apple ecosystem and you want something easy that tracks all different types of workouts this guy is really not ideal specifically for like weightlifting because if you're like grabbing a you know a heavy bar or just lifting heavy weights one it's uncomfortable because it'll pinch against your hand and two i'm pretty sure they suggest you don't do that because it will break or scratch or get damaged in some capacity there's a reason they didn't put weightlifting as one of the workouts that it tracks um, and every time I go to the gym, which is a couple of times a week, I just take it off and I don't even bring it, to be honest. So I would say if you already have a Gen 3 or a ring and maybe wearing the watch is annoying or you don't have a watch or you just want to be able to get some better insight into your workouts, I would say it's a good feature and it works for sure. Um, but I would say... It's, it wouldn't be something I would like put on par with other fitness trackers from like Fitbit to Whoop to, you know, all these other, the Apple Watch to all these different fitness trackers. I would not say that this is on par with that, to be honest. I would say it's the best sleep tracker and now it has this extra little feature, which is nice, especially if you don't want to have multiple devices. So all in all, I recommend you check it out. If you were holding off to pick up an oil ring until you heard more about this feature, I can confirm it does what it was advertised to do. Um, and Aura finally did come through, even though it was a couple months late, they still did it. Um, so yeah, and Aura as a company, I'm a big fan. I highly recommend it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And subscribe if you're looking for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.